Well, hello. Today I'd like to revisit a pen that I discussed several years ago, the Lamy Ion. This is a pen that was lower cost, metal bodied pen, takes some inspirations from the Lamy 2000 and the Lamy Safari. So let's take a look at it and see what I think now. All right, so this is the Lamy Ion. It is a metal pen, but it has a bit of a textured body, which helps because I don't like metal pens. Uh, the clip seems to be spring-loaded. Uncap the pen. It's a slip to cap. Um, I don't see any ears like a Lamy 2000 would have. I do see a little bit of paint chipping here. Uh, the nib, we'll talk about the nib a bit more in a bit, but it's very similar, but not exactly like a Lamy Safari nib. The pen is a cartridge converter pen when I finally get it unscrewed. Do not eyedropper it though because it's metal. And the section, I don't like metal sections because they're slippery. It's textured enough that it's not slippery. So they did think some things through with this pen. Now I wanted to compare the pen with a, a few peers since this is a whatever this is, a <laughs> revisit, survivor pens, something like that. So, of course, I have the classic Lamy Safari. Same company, different model, much more expensive model. And here on the other side, let's put slightly lower cost pens. Let's put a, whoops, my squirrel <laughs> tips over. Um, I need to get a, some tack or something to hold him in place. But anyway, we've got a, let's zoom out a little so you can actually see it. So we've got a Lamy Safari, Lamy All-Star. And just for giggles and snorts, I've got a Platinum Procyon. We'll just lay here because I'm out of pen rests. So uh, how does this pen compare? Well, first thing, if we look at... Goodbye, squirrel. <laughs> um, everything here except for the Platinum Procyon is a snap cap um, if you look at the Lamy 2000 it has ears nice ink window that is hard to see right now because it's almost full of ink and a gold nib that's semi hooded and it's a classic of pen design that has been you know in production since the 1960s but the brushed Macrolon finish seems to be an inspiration for the brushed metal finish. Now the other two Lamy's that are here, we have the Lamy Safari. The uh, Lamy All-Star is the same pen, it just has a metal body instead of a plastic body, so we'll just go with the Safari. First of all, triangular grip on the Safari and the All-Star rounded grip on this Lamy Ion. If we look at the nibs, the Lamy Ion is more rounded, but it's basically the same nib, basically the same feed, uh, attaches the same way, so not much changes there. And then, kind of in the similar price market and released at the same time, the Platinum Procyon is also a metal pen has a plastic section, screw cap instead of um, slip cap, a little bit bigger nib, it's actually a bit softer, and we've got a kind of different filling mechanism on the Platinum Procyon. I like the Platinum Procyon. Uh, the Lamy Ion, eh, I mean it's okay, but it's nothing amazing. Now, one thing with the Platinum Procyon that I've never liked is the cap is kind of loose. So I don't know if the microphone picked that up, but I hope it did. I hope it picked up the rattle there. All right, so I'm assuming it's a medium line. I think that's what that says. Uh, the ink in it is Stipula Musk Green, which is an ink I haven't used in a while. Uh, 
This is not a flex nib, just like the other Lamy's that I showed. A little bit of line variation, but definitely not a flex nib. Uh, wetness and flow. You know, I uh, one thing I'm noticing as I'm writing here is it's a definitely a wider section than some of the pens I've used. Uh, wetness and flow, the smear test. Eh, wet-ish. It's okay. Um, reverse writing, if you're into that kind of thing. Honestly, since I bought the pen, I haven't reverse written. Eh, it's okay. It's a Definitely an extra fine, but it, it's not overly scratchy. Uh, we'll do the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. And I think it passed that pretty well. And because this is a review, I always used to do a quote in my reviews. So let's zoom out a bit and let's do a quote. Alright, so uh, to tell you the truth, I have not inked that pen up very much since I filmed my original video. I don't really care for the pen. I mean, it's not a bad pen, it's just not a great pen. I haven't really inked up my Lamy Safari all that much either. It's just not a bad pen, just not a great pen. It just doesn't appeal to me. So, yeah, I'm not particularly a fan of this thing. Uh, it, it's actually in my group of pens that when I get around to doing a pen sale... Um, will probably be either there or in my pen giveaway. Uh, just, eh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the loose cap is annoying, but not overly so. I think the big thing is that I have better daily writers, so this one doesn't have a place. So, uh, yeah, and, and I think that's where it falls. Is I, I'm just spoiled for choice, and I've got better choices. Uh, as far as pocket test, no pocket on this shirt, but I've got a collar, so let's slip it over the collar. It works very well with the collar test. Um, if you asked me would I take this one or the Lamy Safari, this one probably, maybe. <laughs> I think I like this one better than the Lamy Safari. How about this one, the Platinum Procyon, which you saw in the video? Good question. I think if the Platinum Procyon were a snap cap, Definitely the Platinum Procyon. The screw cap, when I think about the kind of setting where I use this pen, I'd rather have a snap cap. So that's where I'm at with it. Uh, will there be another revisit to the pen in the future? I don't... Oh, that didn't work. I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Probably not. Probably will sell or give it away, but haven't yet. So, hey... Maybe it'll make it another however many years. So I hate to leave you with that underwhelming response to the pen, but yeah, I just can't get that excited about it. I like the Lamy 2000 better. Um, you know, if I look for a comparable pen in that market, probably the Pelican pen whose name I don't remember, but <laughs> it's, it's gray. Doggone, it, I knew it when I sat down here. Anyway... Yeah, that's where I'm at with the Lamy Ion, but I do appreciate the effort they made to make up for all the faults of a metal pen. I think they did a good job at that. Uh, I find the tri the uh, triangular section kind of annoying on the Safari, so kudos for getting rid of that. I mean, it does, it's not horrible, it's just... 
I prefer the rounded section. So, uh, yeah, kudos to Lamy for trying something different. And who knows, this could be an attempt to update the Lamy Safari. Uh, maybe we'll see some, you know, I, I, I thought it was interesting that they did a similar but different nib. And it just makes me wonder what Lamy's long-term plan is. Uh, one thing I really respect about Lamy is they will introduce a pen model and then use it for decades and decades and decades, Lamy 2000. So, uh, you know, they, it will be interesting to see what happens with this Lamy Ion. And I am told that the newer versions of the Lamy Ion don't have the rattling cap problem, so maybe that's all a moot point now. I don't know, but not interested enough to buy another one to find out so anyway i leave you there so i want to thank you for watching this lackluster underwhelming episode we'll talk to you later Bye bye